around with the little queen. But uh, they have heard quite enough of this. Ham, knock it off. Ham, you, Keith. Now, in William Shakespeare's play about this man... Wait, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. He's going to continue. I can't shut him up. The actor who portrays him speaks a total of 11,610 words. Our fast-talking Hamlet is the famous speed talker, John Mashita. Now, what he has just read leads us to our first question. It was almost a close race. Almost. You finished before I had a lot more words than All right, John. Pull it, pull it, pull it. How many words did Hamlet read? We will learn the answer to that question in a lot more in a couple of moments here. Now, couples, separate, if you will, please. Don't look at one another. Write down your answers independently, and we'll check with you in just a moment. Come on. Welcome. You know, with all of the wild things that go on while this show goes on, it really, really keeps me on my toes. I never, ever know what is going to happen. I walk out of Hamlet, speaking of toes. Uh, it's never ending, John. Obviously, I'm not the only one uh, that is on his or her toes a moment ago. I asked our three teams, how many words did our Hamlet here read at the opening of our show? Now, team members have written down their answers separately. Neither knows the other's answers. When we average their guesses together, we arrive at their final team answer. Let's see what the answers are going to be here. Starting with couple number one. Robert and Charles, you've been friends for how long? A year. A year. You ever disagree? Always. Oh, all the time. And you have similar thoughts? Uh, not no, really. No. More or less. <laughs> Robert, let me ask you then. How many words does this guy read from the top here? 850. Charles, what did you say? That was more reasonable. I said like 250, about... Yeah, sounds the more reasonable of the two. Oh, of you. without a doubt. A little bit more polysyllabic and monosyllabic. All of a sudden, I'm talking like a little bit of a little Easy, John. <laughs> Whoa! Please! <laughs> 550 is the average. Terry and Misty, I, I, I find this hard to believe. Is mother and daughter? Yeah. yeah. Another, who's the mom? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got it. Oh, not Misty after that face. Easy, easy, big brother. No. Who is the barrel racer? I am. And, and quickly, what is a barrel racer? It's a wonderful game. You have three different barrels set up, and you do it for time, and you race around the barrels, and it's something to do in Texas. On a horse? All over, actually. On a horse. Oh, all right. That I raise and train myself. Very good, my dear. Tell me about Hamlet now. How many words did John Mashita speak at the top of the show as Hamlet? I said 722. Uh, Misty, I know you're a singer. Are you good at lyrics and words? Yes, I am. How many words did he speak? Well, I said 300. All right. Your average, then, is... 511, a close race going here. Jason and Sherry, you are married for how long? Uh, two years in, in July, Dick. They cautioned me, Jason, to say not that you are an ex-Marine. Why? Uh, there are no ex-Marines, only former Marines, Dick. Uh, once you're a Marine, you'll always be always a Marine. Always a Marine. All right. <laughs> Jason, how many words did Hamlet speak? He was really moving. I said about 255 words. Sherry, what did you say? Sherry, that's an insult, John. Don't really? Thanks for the vote of confidence. <laughs> the, the average is 178. Now, the team that comes the closest to the actual number wins $200. The runner-up wins $100. All the answers are in. Let's see uh, which team is the closest to the actual number of words read by Hamlet. And, John, you have... Have the answer in your heart. Well, I, you know, I, I managed to get to the whole soliloquy. I could have done a lot more, Dick, but I stopped at the end there because I didn't want to keep going because I just wanted to do the soliloquy because, you know, I didn't want to be... <laughs> the answer is 277. Congratulations, Jason. That's called John Locke. You just won $200. Terry and Mr. took up $100. Thank you very much. And remember, the winning team takes their money home and we'll play in our brain. He's around. Have a chance of winning the grand prize. And if at any time ever hear this particular sound... The train whistle, there it is. You'll win a very special prize, and Burton will tell the players right now what that is. The Yamaha Wave Runner 3, the best-selling three-passenger watercraft. Quality and reliability adds up to fun for everybody. Nothing else is a Wave Runner. Yamaha, compliment valve, it takes two. 
Thank you very much. We have a big superstore. And, John, I thank you ever so much for joining us. Well, thank you. It was really my pleasure. You know what I think? I'll think I'll work on the Bethel. They'll come back, you know, to Doyle, Doyle, Buck, Doyle, and all that kind of John Machida, ladies and gentlemen. Talk about a big treat in store. This treat weighs 825 pounds, and it's called Big Nate and Pete. Ladies and gentlemen, please greet our guests here. Would you come out, gentlemen? All right. Oh, oh, oh. Who is Big Nate? No, are you? Yeah. Is there a difference in weight? He weighs 100 pounds more. 100 pounds more? You wait a minute. I get it. I get, I'll be right back. Totally. I totally forgot it's a little hard to pin a microphone on an outfit like this. We could nail it right. No, no, no. Forget it. Uh, is sumo wrestling uh, difficult? Does it take a long time? Yes, yeah, it's, it's a consuming sport. Uh, it's very difficult to get in. Um, sumo is a tradition, you know, it's a 2,000 year tradition. Oh, it's like the Super Bowl of Japan, I'm sure. Would you guys be kind enough to participate here for a second? Uh, the technical term for this wrestling is sumo, and uh, I want to ask you uh, if you would give us a little demonstration out here. Step over here into the center of our no ring, and uh, do that uh, mm -mm, bumping thing there. What is it? What's it called? It's called, uh, in Japanese, it's called touchy eye. Oh, we call it belly bumping here, I would you just did <laughs> okay, let me, Oh, I'm going to step back. I don't know whether he's going to explode or not. All right, gentlemen. All right, they're starting to belly bump right now. Couples, I want you to predict how many times our sumo wrestlers will bump bellies during our commercial break. And our proctor will be standing by doing the counting. And if you will not separate, write down your answers. While the match continues, we'll take this short break. How many times are you going to bump? On Fam Primetime, Star Trek's Jonathan... Bad, bad people and Hawthorne Little Baby. He's getting a little too close for comfort here. Welcome back to It Takes Two, and as you can see, the sumo wrestlers are still at it. Came right up here while you were away. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Gentlemen, it's time to call a halt. Stop! That is not as easy as it might appear to be, bumping bellies. So thank you, Big Nate and Pete. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. Nice to have you here. Now, let's see which of our couple's predictions is the closest the actual number of times our sumo wrestlers actually bump bellies while they're over there. Remember, the correct answer is worth $300. The runner-up gets uh, $150. Robert, how many times do they bump during the commercial? Dick, I think they bump. They're hale and hearty individuals. I said right around 20 times. Oh, man, the sound of... <laughs> Charles, what do you say? Well, I think they did a little bit more than that. I said about Twice 45. Yeah. yeah. You know, I figured that they had a lot of energy and they were doing it for the show. It was a pretty good move. Average of 33. Terry, what'd you say? I said 26. I was hoping they weren't going to kill each other. No, I was hoping they weren't going to bump into me. <laughs> Misty, what'd you say? Well, I said 70 because, 70. well, to me, it looked like they were, like, hugging all over each other. Well, they spent a lot of time before they bumped, I guess. That's it. 48 was the average. Jason and Sherry, what do you say, Jason? I said about 30 times. Those guys look like professionals. They were really getting busy. 30 times, all right. And Sherry? I thought one every couple of seconds, so I put 60. Okay, the average then is 45. All of these guesses are very close. You're 33, 48, 45. The proctor was in there counting. And the actual answer is 33, right on the button. Robert and Charles. Carrie won the runner-up money of $150, and you won that extra prize. And I gotta tell you, that is very, very. You're off to a flying start. Hey. Congratulations. Now, you're gonna meet a guy now who has a lot of dough, which is a pun. This is uh, over here in our secondary stage is Don Braxton, who is from Wetzel's Pretzels. Now, Don, how long have you been a pretzel twister? About four years. Boy, can you get a little chunk off here and, and give me a demonstration of what you're doing? Is this a difficult art? It's uh, an old art form. 
Where'd he come from, Germany? Back in the olden days, the monks used to make pretzels for kids for prizes. How, how many pretzels a, a day can a good pretzel twister twist? Hundreds of pretzels. All right, now there's one. Let's not count that one. Here's what we're going to do. Our pretzel maker will be twisting as many pretzels as he can during the remainder of the show. So couples, here is your question. How many pretzels will our pretzel twister twist during our show? Later on in the show, I'll be asking you to write down your answers, and our proctor is ready to count. Keep a close eye here, and uh, you can begin right now. Let's twist again. All right. Look at good. Keep your eye on that. We'll be right back after this. <laughs> John Braxton is working at it over there. He's got a pile of pretzels to run. Congratulations on your two wave runners, by the way. Enjoy and good health. Now, I'm going to get a chance to do something that uh, I would never get the chance to do if it weren't for It Takes Two. I've been wanting to do this for years and years. Mr. Rod Roddy, come on down! Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, the voice of the price is right, Mr. Rod Roddy. What a lovely thing. Thank oh, you. It's just a little something. But you wear this out in the evening, of course. Yes, I how, do. How it's... many years have you been doing Price is Right? This is my 12th year, believe it or not. Again, Time dude. flies when you're having fun and giving away a new car. All right, now. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't read this. I, I can't do that. But it, you've got to give me a sample of Come on now. A sample of that? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, I do this for a living. It's, it's so simple to do. Let me say, I, I, some, I have to have... Uh, I know, Janice Pennington, come on down! So long. You've never Finally. come on down. I've never. After how many years? Twenty-five years. You've been with the show for twenty-five, 25 years. Yeah. This is, I mean, this is. I <laughs> idolize you guys, and Bob Barker is, you know, my hero of all time. Now, this brings me to the point here. The question is for our couple. How many times has Rod Roddy yelled, "Come on down!" On the Price Is Right? Now let's separate our couples here and write down your answers. Remember the closest to the actual number of times Rod yelled that will win $400. The runner-up will win $200. A little sound is they're still writing there. Going to get their averages in just a half a second here. So hang on. You're going to have an answer, I hope. I'm going to have an answer. You'll have an answer. All right, gang, I got a call time on you. And there you go. Put them in the slots there. And uh, Misty, you ready? Terry, you ready? You're writing slowly. All right, Robert, what was your guess on how many? 950 times? Based on just, just, just uh, how many years you've been on the show and how many contestants the average per show come oh. down to the call. You took a very scientific approach there. I'm Charles? Well, I had a bigger number. I'm more like 3,600. Really? Well, you said 12 years. Yes, yeah, a long time. Let's do the averages. 2,275. Terry and Misty, you took a long time to figure that answer out. What'd you come up with, Terry? I, I say he went for it 5,000 times. And Misty, you said? I said 1,000. And the average is, therefore, 3,000 times. Jason and Cherry. Jason, how many times? I said 4,000. 12 years is a long time. Okay, okay. Sherry, your guess? I really messed up. <laughs> 250 times. The man wouldn't have a job at that rate. 2,125. Janice, it's your job. Now, okay. Comes the real answer. Let me see. Are you I want to see, too. Yeah. I don't have a clue. 20,520. Terry and Missy, believe it or not, you were the closest. You won $400. Robert Charles, you pick up the two hundred dollars. And thank you. How's the voice? I had no idea I'd say that much. Janice, thank you so much. Thank you, Rod, Jack. thank Jack, you. So great much. to see you. Rod Roddy. <laughs> Janice, you. we're very happy to have had you both with us. And do I get to keep this? It's sure. <laughs> thank you, Mr. So hey, check in with our personal member over there. He's twisting and twisting and twisting, and he's going to keep going till the end of the show, and we'll be right back after this. Who's use most? Extra strength Bayer aspirin and genuine Bayer aspirin. Powerful pain relief and so much more. I'm going 
pretzels he's done. He's still got a little bit of dough left. Welcome back to It Takes Two, and it's time to see just how many pretzels Don actually managed to twist during the show. Don, finish that one you're working on right now, and we'll call that good when you finish. That will be it. You may stop twisting with this one right there. All right. Thanks to Don Braxton of uh, Wexel's Pretzels. He's working hard there. Now, teams, separate, if you will. Don't look at one another. Write down the number of pretzels you think were twisted during the past 11 minutes. And the team that comes closest to the correct number of pretzels wins $1,000 and the game. All right, if you are ready, put your answers in as quickly as you can. And everybody is about set. Robert, how many did he twist? Dick, I said 95, based on right around one pretzel per mm, every 10 seconds or so. You always have a very analytical approach to these I, I shouldn't make fun of these guys. They hit it right on the nose, you know. This, uh, Charles? Well, I originally figured it was about five pretzels uh, every, what, minute. But you said 11 minutes, I got thrown off. I thought it was longer. So I stuck with 75 as in between of what I was thinking about. I don't know what the devil you said, Charles. <laughs> the average comes out 85. <laughs> Terry? I said six per minute with a little extra 72. All right, everybody's guessing around the same amount there. Misty, what'd you come up with? I said 38. I figured three to four a minute. He was working fast, my dear. <laughs> All right, you said your average then is 55. Jason, the number you had in mind? I went a little higher than everybody, but I said about 155. 155? And Sherry, you said 88. Why? One every seven, I mean, about seven every minute. Well, All right, everybody had sort of a guesstimate of how many per minute. 122, 55, 85. All right, those are the averages. I guess I gotta get a look for. Oh, the actual number was 61. Six, Harry and Misty. Congratulations, you have won it. Whatever your logic was, it played out. Congratulations, Robert and Charles. You got your wave runners, Jason and Sherry. We have nice gifts for you. Thank you ever so much for joining us. Now, let's go into our brain teaser bonus round. As they've already been given a hint of what's to come, now all they have to do is come close to the correct answer. And if they do, they could win this. Burton? A vacation at the Roseland Ranch in upstate New York. A casual ranch resort the whole family will enjoy. Horseback riding, swimming, entertainment, game room, and winter activities. Year-round fun from Roseland Ranch and Pan Am. A respected name in aviation is back in the air. Luxurious and comfortable first-class service for the price of coach. No restrictions when you fly Pan Am. All compliments are... It takes two. All right. Ladies, welcome. You know, I didn't get much chance to talk to you about your singing career. Are you a professional or a, a wannabe, or where are you with all of that? I'm a wannabe. A wannabe? <laughs> all the good luck. All right, congratulations. Now, in honor of our two previous guests, uh, Rod Roddy and Janice Pennington from The Price is Right, here is your brain teaser question. This isn't going to be that hard. <laughs> Even I have an idea of this, and I'm not real good at this. Think about the fact that they were on all those years, and to the nearest million, how many dollars in cash and prizes have been given away on the prices right since it premiered in 1972? Now that is 25 years, something like that. How many millions of dollars in cash and prizes? Don't forget. He said they gave away automobiles, figure what a car costs. They give a car away every day, I wonder. No, no, it seems like it. They're giving cars left and right. How many millions? Five hundred million. Five hundred million dollars? Five hundred million dollars. Five hundred million, all right. And what did you say? I'm going to lowball that and say eighty million. Eighty million. Somehow or other, 80 million doesn't seem enough. Well, he went overboard. <laughs> All right. The average, then, between your answers is 290 million. Now, if the number on this card is between 280 and 300, you will win the prize. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Between 280 and 300. Go to Janice for the end. What are you trying to give me? You're trying to give me a heart attack? Oh, I was building it. What is the answer, my dear? Do you want me to reveal this? No, I, they promised me I could do it like Bob does. The answer is 
140 million. I'm sorry, you're a little bit off on that. We have wonderful prizes for you, Janice. Thank you very much. I knew you were fun. Thank you very much. Janice Pennington, ladies and gentlemen. Burton, tell them what they've won here, okay, if you will. Let's hear it. Give me a summary. Congratulations to Terry and Missy, who won $1,500, and Roy Hill's beautiful commode, cocktail table, and sofa table, featuring the highly distressed wash finish for the desired European farmhouse treasure look from Roy Hill and Wallace's overplated Lazy Susan. Four individual serving compartments and a dome-covered center dish, all in Grand Baroque pattern from Wallace. All compliments of It Takes Two. You know, I, I, just, I knew Janice was coming where is he? Where is he? Anyway, uh, you know, it takes all of you to play it. Thanks, Steve. Thank you so much for joining us. For now, Dick Clark, so long. Some of today's contestants on It Takes Two will receive Xylus Fine Swiss Made Kitchen Accessories. For all year round cooking indoors or out, enjoy the high performance of superior quality products from Xylus. And decorating made easy with a gift certificate from Wallpapers to Go. Select wallpaper, window treatment, fabric, and more at 80 stores nationwide. From Wallpapers to Go, all compliments of It Takes Two. This is Burton Richardson speaking. It was silver. Ink.